Okay, I'll stop this training just for a minute. My name's Jay Devon, and I want to share plenty of things to help everyone to be happier on the court. All right, this one's mine. New series, this series is how to save you money and get much better life out of all your tennis things. For example, the racket, your tennis runners, and accessories like the grip and the strings, and not to mention the balls. The racket, the most money you're gonna spend should be on your tennis racket. Today's video is about how you can save money when you're buying a tennis racket and also how to get a better life from the racket. The first thing should be that when you're starting out or you uh, haven't got a racket is don't buy one first because it's very easy to get the wrong thing and then when you do that uh, that's going to make your enjoyment of the game uh, compromised but also you need to have uh, a chance to see what you want to get so the best thing to do is to make sure you get some expert advice and before you buy one you want to try to make sure you can either borrow one from a friend or get a second hand one cheaply otherwise also i always bring a racket to the first session with somebody new so then you can get both that expert advice and not get the racket beforehand one of the really important things of getting the racket is to make sure you buy a racket that you can grow into so for example uh, when i'm teaching people I'm, I'm normally trying to help them to uh, get the racket which is going to be something that they'll be going to last them for a long time so then i will try to make sure that i'm projecting where i feel their game can be and that way I'm going to try to get them to go for a more advanced racket than, uh, than a cheap beginner racket so that uh, the onus is on me then to quickly get them up to that level. Uh, next thing would be uh, with the tennis rackets is you want to try to avoid the main things which is uh, heat and enclosed uh, um, heat as well. So direct sun and the enclosed things like people put them in the car boot and things like that you really got to try not to do that because what happens is when the racket gets too hot it warps and changes shape and then that's going to damage it and uh, the, the, you know, the ball's going to come off very funny from the racket as soon as the racket's warped as in has a twist. The other one of course is the hairline fractures. So this means when you're using your rackets you got to try to never touch the racket on anything. So no belting up the umpire's chair with your racket or hitting the net and also this one here that I see all the time happens is when people using their racket like this to bounce up the ball which you don't want to do because when you're hitting the racket to bounce up the ball like that it means you're basically hitting your racket on the floor as well in terms of the forces that go into the racket so you've got a good chance to get hairline fractures so don't do that i've got a number of other videos that i'll put down below to go and see more about rackets and what you should get and things such as how to pick up the ball in a cooler way that so you don't have to do this but these are the really key things you want to try to do when you're uh, playing with your racket. And then the one super killer of tennis racket life is what I call the serve slam. Now lots of people, what they do is when they're serving is they serve the ball and they actually let go of the racket, of course not on purpose. And then when they serve, they end up making their racket at a really high force straight down into the floor in front of them, which means you're pretty much for sure gonna get either a hairline fracture or a big open crack straight away. And then your definitely uh, racket is killed with no time. The, the grips are way, way cheaper than the racket, so make sure you're keeping your hands dry when you're playing, especially when you're serving, and also change the grip, the, the cheap grip, much more often so that you're never gonna experience the serve slam where you're straight away, even with a brand new racket. If you do that one time, the chances the racket's gonna smash is really high. Okay, so then another thing that's not directly on the racket, but makes a big difference, is to help save the life of your racket, is when you're getting the racket restrung, they're going to put a lot of stress to the uh, racket every time when they do that to pull the tension in which is necessary so the main things would be to make sure if you're breaking the strings a bit more often to try to make sure you're using a string that's more durable so that your uh, racket doesn't need to be restrung as often and then when you're having the uh, racket strung as well is there's a recommended tension range that's normally written on the racket somewhere whether down in here or off, it can be also up here often is they'll have a recommended stringing tension range. If you're stringing at the top of that or above, then that means that you're putting, the higher amount of tension you're putting in the racket, the greater amount of uh, stress will be on the racket when you are uh, having your racket strung. So that means that you wanna be looking at getting a different type of racket with more control in it and uh, 
everything so that you're not feeling like you need to string your racket so tight to try to get the control via the strings because that's going to put a lot of loading to the racket. Then of course one of the other really important things to help save your racket is when you do break the strings, if you have clips, clippers or scissors, then when you break your strings you should as closely after you break the strings uh, is try to cut out the string but cut it out in a circle so that when you are releasing the tension that's in the racket of all the strings that aren't already broken you're doing it in an even way by cutting one here, one here, one on each of the four sides and going around this so when the racket's releasing tension you don't just cut it from one side and make the racket all pull and change shape you're making the racket release in an even way all right, this is plenty of things and like I said there's more videos about tennis rackets below and this is the number one piece where you do want to spend your money on so make sure you get knowledgeable before you go and invest but do invest because good racket equals good fun on the court.